Hey guys, today before we get into the video, I just want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. You guys are so amazing. I um, surpassed my goal of 300 and I got well over 800 now. And also to the subscribers that have shared my videos to the Chasing Sunray Sun Clan Facebook group. Um, Radiance, her channel is Chasing Sunray on YouTube and Alyssa is Little John's Yarn. Those are their channels. They both welcome me into the group. It is so amazing. If you guys aren't part of it, you should go check it out. Um, it's a Chasing Sunray Sun Clan, as you can see on here, and it's just full of amazing crochet designers. The crochet is just, their skills are on a thousand. It's so much positivity, so much help. They even have patterns on there if you want to watch videos. So you guys go ahead and check them out if you want to be part of a crochet community, um, especially if you don't know anybody who crochets. So let's go ahead and get into the video, and I'm going to use um, Simply Soft. Um, and yeah, so I should have used about three for an extra small to a small romper. Um, if you're doing the pants, that's how much you'll need. If you don't, if you're not going to do the pants and you just need two. Um, so yeah, you're going to need scissors, stitch marker, um, a five millimeter crochet hook. If I can get myself together in this video. Yeah, you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. And then you're going to need, um, you probably want to do um a single crochet or half double crochet or use a smaller hook if you don't want it to be see-through um because i did double crochet and it's pretty see-through and then you're going to need a uh, measuring tape to measure your hips so you can do a chain that is long enough to fit around your hips i chained about 105 and that is for um an extra small to a small so yeah after you have your chains then you want to go ahead and join that round together you just want to make sure you have your chain straight um so it's not crooked when you start crocheting back on that round so i'm just showing you how um it's supposed to be long enough to fit around your hip area so i'm about a 32 around my hips depending on <laughs> what kind of week i'm having so yeah, um, and I want it to be kind of tight anyway, because it's going to be kind of like revealing because I'm going to wear it this summer. So yeah, you just make sure that it's straight and then you slip stitch the two ends together as you would normally do when you make a skirt or pants or whatever. So I kind of messed up when I was showing you. How to do it because I had already created mine. Um, so <laughs> if it looks weird, don't pay attention. And I always weave in my ends when I do. Um, when I'm doing a chain, so I chain three, and I'm going to double crochet in the first stitch that I can see. And I'm struggling <laughs> to get it into these chains. And that's what I was talking about. <clears throat> it's really hard for me to film when I'm trying to um, just create something off the top of my head. Because I've never made a romper with pants and a halter before. So yeah, I'm still struggling. <laughs> I don't even know why I left this part in. But yeah. So you just want to double crochet or whatever stitch that you're going to do all the way around till you get to the end. And it's like this video is going to be kind of like not a step by step thing because it's not really easy for me to show things that are repetitive. So like I said, you go all the way around. This is the completed one. And I can't get anything together right now. Sorry, you guys. I have been having like a crocheter's block and I haven't been able to really crochet. Got a lot of stuff going on right now that I have to get done. So yeah. You're just going to connect those ends. And I know I have issues with 
keeping my line or my seam straight. So if it helps, you can just slip stitch into the second chain that you would see, the second double crochet, not the first one, and it can help keep your seam line straight. I know I had a question about that. It doesn't really bother me, but it might bother other people. So yeah, then you just go back on that whole um, double crochet row that you did, and you just double crochet again until you complete your shorts. You can also make this into a dress, like a halter dress. If you just keep going um, round and round and round, it'll be a dress, but I am doing shorts. So yeah, right here I have completed 16 rows and now I am just going to um, go ahead and show you where I marked on the sides um, where I'm gonna start my halter top at. You might wanna start further towards the back so you have time for your decrease and by the time you get up to your breast, it won't be so revealing like mine is, but I wanted mine to be like that because I'm gonna be wearing it with a bathing suit this summer. So yeah, um, go ahead and mark your sides where you want to start your halter at. And once you do that, you're just gonna reattach your yarn and your hook, and you're just gonna go across the stitches that are in between your stitch markers. And I did mine for about um, three to five rows, just to start off the bottom so I wasn't worried about um, by the time I got up to the decrease for it to be like all messed up. So yeah, just make sure that you measure it up to your body or you leave it back further, far enough so you can um, have room for your decrease. Um, yeah. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and reattach the yarn. And I'm sorry, you guys, this video is so janky. But <laughs> I told you, I, like, I've been having such crocheter's block. Like, I have a million and one things to do. I have orders for soap. I have crochet orders. I got requests. And some things are requests for things that I don't even know how to make yet. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want me to do a step-by-step, -step, more in-depth video, just let me know in the comments. And I will definitely work on it. And I just won't post videos so frequently because it does take time to get numbers correct and everything like that. So yeah, like I said, back into this tutorial, you're just gonna reconnect your yarn and I am going to double crochet back and forth for a few rows to start the halter. And I'm just gonna speed through this because it's super duper self-explanatory. You just basically go across like you would normally do. And I'm not even going to show the whole thing. Basically, if you watch my videos, you got to kind of already know how to crochet things. But like I said, if you want me to do more in depth, just let me know. And I will definitely try my hardest to get those done. Please bear with me. <laughs> I'm so new to this filming thing that it's like I'm just trying to get used to it. And I'm still waiting on this camera that I'm trying to get like, uh, these things are so expensive. So yeah, crochet back and forth a few times and then I started my decrease. And basically I'm just skipping a stitch on the end of every row. Or you can do every other row if you um, need to. So yeah, basically I'm just showing you how I'm decreasing. And you just keep on going until the halter looks exactly how you want it to. And there's plenty of videos on halter tops um, if you need a more step-by-step -step for this one. But this is just basically an outline on how you can make a halter romper. And so yeah, by the time um, I show you again, I think I have completed majority of it. So yeah. I have already completed the top and we're gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, I have did the straps and a little outlining on it 
you just do the edging go go around it with a single crochet or a slip stitch I did about 200 chains um, so I can lace up the back and you put it in those little holes on the side you can go back down your strap, um, your strap chain to make it thicker if you need to, but I didn't because I'm trifling sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, it'll make your project look way better if you go back down the straps. So now I'm just going to show you the bottom part to start your shorts. And like I said, if you wanted it to be a dress, you could have just continued to double crochet until it was long as you need it to be. But I just folded it over found the middle part and I'm going to slip stitch through the front and the back and this is going to create the crotch area for your shorts. You can do shorts so many kind of ways. I just kind of do it depending on what kind of yarn I'm using and what I feel like that day. So basically once you do that you have two leg holes. You do want to make sure that you get as close as possible to the middle so you don't have two different size leg holes and you want to kind of count to make sure so then i'm just going to prepare for my double crochet and i'm going to continue double crocheting around each pants leg um individually by themselves so for shorts i usually do about four rows of double crochet on each side and then i can do like a design around the bottom you want but I'm not going to do that for these because I'm going to extend them out into pants so yeah you just basically go all the way around and right now I'm counting to make sure that I have enough because I don't want it to be all raggedy looking so you just do that and like I said I did it about four rows of double crochet and that was long enough for me for my shorts. So yeah, I'm just kind of showing a little quick part of me going around the shorts and you just do that and you connect it at the end of each row like you would do every row of double crochet or any, cro any crochet stitch that you would do. So keep on going around, keep on going around. Until it is as long as you would like. I always do mine super duper short. I don't know if that's just a little ratchet in me coming out. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And you should probably do this in cotton too. You guys, I'm going to start doing my um, my outfits in cotton because it just looks and feels better on your skin. So yeah, I don't know why I added so much of this in because it's so repetitive. But you just go around and go around until you are done. yeah anyway so here's i think after the first row that i just did then you just i'm telling you just to keep on going and then do the next side the way that you want and by the time i come back i'm pretty much going to be finished with the romper portion of this video so yeah i have put a little drawstring in that I ended up changing once I did the pants, then you'll see why. But yeah, I strapped, I laced up the back and I have everything in place. And then your romper is done, pretty much. If you could follow everything that I just told you, you should be able to create this. And then you have like a little cute romper and I'll show you a picture at the end. Cause I didn't do a video. I told you guys I've been feeling kind of blah with this crochet stuff, so yeah. Sorry about that. So now I'm just going to show you how I extended the shorts part to do pants. So like if I never stopped on the shorts portion, I just kept going. I did about 22 more rows and that was long enough to get to about my kneecaps. 
Um, I didn't decrease or increase. I just kept going with the amount of stitches that I had. And if you look on a chart online, you can see what your inseam is or you can measure yourself. Mine is about 30 inches. So you will want to do as many rows as 30 inches would be or however many inches your inseam is from your crotch to your ankle, I believe. So you just want to keep on going. And I, like I told you, I did 22 rows of double crochet and that got me to my kneecap. I decreased about five stitches um, for four or five rows. Um, I don't know how much it would be for you guys. That's why it's really hard for me to tell you um, with the number amounts. You just have to kind of gauge it with your eyes. So I'm trying to write down as I go whatever I did. But it's going to vary for different sizes and different shapes. So basically, like I said, for a few rows, like five, you decrease five stitches around. And I did that, um, and it basically, it's a tight fit on your legs. So if you don't want yours tight, then yours is going to be completely different from mine. You can increase your stitches or whatever you have to do, but I wanted mine pretty tight. So like I said, I did my little decrease for a few rows, and then I continued those um, decrease rows without decreasing any further. And I did um, about 15 of those rows. So like I'm going to show you in a minute, you will see where I decreased that. Um, hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about. So right here you can see that for about four to five rows, I decreased four to five stitches in each row. And you can see my decrease is where you can see the holes at. So yeah, <laughs> if you know a better way to do this, then go ahead. But this is just like a little guide to show you kind of how you can do it. And I ended up running out of yarn. So I did the bottoms in white and it looked like socks. It looks so terrible. So I'm not going to show you guys what it looks like on because I'm going to get more yarn and redo it myself for when I want to wear it. If I'm going to even wear it like pants. <laughs> But yeah, so like I said, this is about halfway, which is about my kneecap area or underneath my kneecap area. And then I have to go all the way to 30. You don't have to go your whole way if you don't want to. But I wanted mine to go pretty far to touch my ankles. So yeah, when I come back, I'm going to be finished with the whole thing. I added a white waistband and you'll see why because the bottom... I did it in white. So yeah, this looks so terrible, you guys. It's so super ugly. It would have been so cute if it was blue, but the fact that I use the white, it just, it looked like leg warmers or something. So I'm gonna show you pictures, you guys. Thanks for watching. Here's the romper part. If you left it as shorts, there's the front and that's the back. And I just thank you guys for watching. It was a really trash video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the top of the pants. I do not want to show you the bottom because like I said, it's super duper ugly. But just imagine if it was blue all the way down. It would have been really, really cute. So, all right, guys. See you guys in the next video. And thank you. Bye.